Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Are you happy this morning? Because me, I'm over, over happy. Amen. I'll be short, really short, because I'm a French guy, but for today I'll try to speak English. My name is uh, Brother Kamanda, J. Uh, the lady beside me, she's my beautiful wife, Eme, Eme Kamanda. The baby name is Kamanda Dinanga Evidence. Amen and amen. People of God, uh, I came this morning to testify my, my happiness, what God has done in my life. It has been uh, seven years since I have been in marriage together with my wife. We never get, uh, get the baby. Brother, please, for the benefit of listeners and viewers over the world, all over the world, listening to your wonderful testimony, please, I want you to clarify us. You are married for seven years and you've been looking for the fruit of the womb. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And what happened? So, the story is, is long. But uh, let me just cut it in short. Last year, I was uh, in Krugersdorp. We see our brother who's praying in this uh, church coming to tell us that they are looking for the people that can help because the evangelists of T.B. Joshua, they were coming uh, this side for the service. So they said they want those people that can work in that uh, service to help them for the, that whole service to be taking place. So they didn't uh, come straight to me. They goes to our friends to interest them, no, no, they need people. So those friends come to me and ask me if I can give them lift to go to that, uh, that place. And I said, no, no problem. So what is the time of going there? They said, no, you must wake up early around 5 a.m. Then myself, I just asked, 5 a.m. is uh, too early. So you guys are telling me just to leave my wife that early and then come and drop you that side. When I asked my wife, she said, no, no, it's fine. Like it's a, it's a things of God. You can just help them and go there. Then I just uh, decided to take them. It was uh, in mid rent where that things happened. But before going to mid rent they told us we must come here at a church. Then there is a lot of teams who will be together for us to go that side. So when we reach here, we find uh, one man. They, they are telling us, no, no, this uh, is uh, Prophet Isaac. Prophet Isaac is the one who invites us because we need to go and work there. I said, okay, we are ready. Me, I was a driver. Then traveling from here to the place, when we reach there as a driver, they said, no, no, you guys, all of you can come inside that, uh, that uh, place that was the conference. When we enter, and then I saw they said, no, no, our team, people that are coming from uh, this side, they must sit here. Then I saw that man they show us here, Prophet Isaac. He said, no, no, everybody must come here. Everybody must come here. Then me also joined to, to where he said, no, I must go. Then he said, no, no, like you guys are not many. I prefer you will work, all of you. There is no driver, there is no, all of you will work here. Start choosing, choosing. And you see, I'm shorter. 
So people that I came with here, I think I will come even with two. People will see them. They were big. The servants of God, the uh, brothers of God who's here, there's a lot also here that we were working with them. They saw them. They were big, tall, three times me. So I couldn't know that I can also work that, uh, that place. And the time that they asked me for the lift, I was coming from the big accident. And this, my leg, was uh, broken three times. So I was just coming from covering a little bit from the hospital. I just decided, and it was paining. When I reached here, they said you must do that work. I decided to work. My brothers and sisters, when the service starts today, we were moving from Kruger's Dope, three o'clock early in the morning. We came first here, and from here we went to Midrand. We can reach at Midrand around four because we must be there before everybody because we are the ones searching people for them to come inside. I said, no, no, God. If really these things, you allow for me to be part of it, but remember, because, you know, the mothers, they are there, the parents are there. I've got friends, I've got a family. You can go to, to any event, you see people with their babies, in the family, they are rejoicing, but you, you can laugh, but inside, it's just pain. You can be with the friends, things they are talking, they are saying things, you are just uh, laughing to make them happy, but inside, it's paining. I remember one day, I was with my friend, we are talking, talking, talking. He said, are you? Because I'm coming from one part of a French guy. So according to our, our, our cultures, so when things like this happen, you can even abandon the, the, the woman and go in the streets looking just for, for the baby. They said, you, 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 how, which kind of men are you? How many beautiful South Africans there are inside here? Why can't you just take one and then maybe it's your wife, whatever, whatever. So when they're saying that, I just look at them and say, no, no, God time is the best, guys. Come here, clap for Master Jesus. <laughs> Children of God, can you make the clapping louder? <laughs> Indeed, God's time is the best. Children of God, this is a very wonderful and glorious testimony that we need to listen attentively and know really that God's time is the best. Our brother has been explaining to us last year, Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministry was part of the service we held at uh, Midrand when Mama Evelyn, our mother, sent people from Synagogue Church of All Nations to come and pray with us here for three days. And our brother is explaining that he, wasn't, he was not even selected. We, the, the, actually, the people that were selected are those that are times three of his size. Because we needed bodyguards, we needed people, but eventually he came, and when he came here, he, was, he came to the church, and our daddy also welcomed him and said, no, we don't have driver, everybody will be security, it's not a question of size, but the Holy Spirit will guide us. So our brother obeyed and followed every other of our team that went to Galaya Estate to help to coordinate the service at, uh, at, uh, the, from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. We assisted and helped. The service went well. And today, our brother is here with a very mighty testimony to show that there is reward in service. My brother, what happened when you entered Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry? You met Prophet Isaka. What are the messages what are the encounters you had with Prophet Isaka when you came here? Yes, uh, the first day, when we finished what we did that side, we came, because we were already hungry, we said, ah, guys, let's go home, just 
there to Kruger's dog. Then they said, no, no, prophet said we must come first to the church and pray together. Then we, we go. So even when they were telling us to the pastors that we were there, but in, our, in us, we were not going again that side or whatever. But, you know, uh, God was planning something that uh, I was not uh, aware about. We came here. I think that they assisted where, where uh, that, uh, that Papa sitting. So they were praying, praying, praying. So also come uh, the, 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 the evangelist that was, was with the microphone. He's the one who buy for us the, the food. We went somewhere there. We were eating. When people were already praying. Then we decided, no, no, let's join them and then pray. We came. We pray also for five minutes and then we left. The second day, we went to the service. When we came, we prayed. Then prophet came. He was uh, not preaching. He just gave a, a briefing of something, a country member. Then he said, okay, we can just uh, go outside there and uh, see what we can do for them to give us the transport so that we can go back to Kruger's door. On our way going down, the prophet was just laughing, laughing, talking to us. But he's talking to everybody. But as we were four, we were coming from Kruger's door. So he's talking to everybody. So now we are talking among us in French. We said, ah, why prophet is just talking to this? To this. But also, so he's not talking to us, but he said he's a prophet. But also talk to us. So we were talking among us. One person in us kept courage. He said, ah, prophet. But you too, when he said you are a prophet, we are here. He can also talk to us. <laughs> Ah, God, God is alive. Amen and amen. God of Isaac. Amen. You are alive. You know, I like to, to call him that guy, yeah? Because when I'm talking to him, when I said, the prophet, that day I was calling you that guy. He's laughing, he's saying, you know, God wanted you to call me that guy. Then you can come closer. And receive what you, you have now. So, you look at the face. He's a big, that guy. No, no, I can see. I can see you. You are crying for you to travel. But oh, Ari, this year, it was last year. This year, you want to finish. You go where you want to go. Where do you want to go? And the guy said, no, no, I want to go to America. And then he said, no, no. It, 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 the answer was, it is uh, it have done. It is done. It is done. And then it was just, just like a joke. Then, so everybody there, those three, because they know my situation. We share the things that happen in my life. They know. And then they were waiting for the prophet to start talking to me. So he jumped the guy, the first, he go to the second one. So they were waiting for the prophet to talk to me. He jumped me. He, ah, me I was feeling bad. And where we were, he didn't talk to me there. We start walking. He's telling us, okay, guys, let's go. I want to show you one picture there at the entrance. We go there. We go. We are watching there. But he already prophesied for three of them. But me, I'm still waiting. And then, as I just feel in my heart, I said, ah, God. Really? If really this place is for God. And if really this man is a man of God, I want evidence. When does I speak that things in my heart, I just see a prophet. He's now talking to another, another guy. Uh, so, guys, uh, tomorrow you must uh, do one, two, three, three. I mean, but in my heart, I'm saying, but I'm waiting for you to talk to me. You are talking to these people. Then he just stood suddenly. He said, brother, you are crying. I know. You are crying too much. You are crying for the baby. He said, just like that. I said, 
Then I take, I take now. Then I, now I take the opportunity. Said I was waiting for this. Yes, prophet. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Said, ah, don't worry. Because he was cutting me, in short. He said, don't worry. I've, I wanted to give you the twins. But for this moment, it's big. I'm giving you one. And that one, it will be a boy. And this year, it was last year, it won't finish. You will see that boy. And Can then, you clap for Master Jesus? Can you scream? Amen and amen. George, who is a prophet? A prophet is the one who prophesies and see things he prophesies come to pass. Can we put our hands together? Clap for the God of now, the God of now. My brother, to the glory of God, we are here thanking God this morning. Because the God of now, the God of Prophet Issachar, have visited your family. And today, to the glory of God, the prophecy is not just a mere prophecy. But today, we are here glorifying God for giving you this handsome baby boy. Handsome baby boy. George, can we clap for Master Jesus once again? <laughs> My brother, if we allow you here, the service will not end because I know how happy you have been and I know the troubles you've been going through looking for a child. Before coming to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry, my brother, where have you visited? looking for fruit of the womb because friends advise us, go to Sangoma, go to this church, go to this spiritualist, go to the mountain, they will bat you, do this, chase your wife away and get another wife. Where have you gone seeking for solution to this problem before coming to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry? No, there is a lot, my brother, there is a lot. Especially I feel for this lady. May God bless her. Amen. Because uh, you know sometimes, you need to have somebody next to you when you are tired in mind, in your body. You need to have somebody that can tell you, don't worry, God is able. Amen. This lady was just telling me, no, I know. Because I'm coming from the, the kingdom family. There's a lot I can tell you. But this morning... I want to tell you, not for whatever names, I want to tell you what God has done already. My brother, we went to the hospitals. They checked this woman. Things the, 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 the doctors, they were saying, how you can't believe, just in, uh, in uh, this small body. All names that they were saying, no, no, you know, when we see this, is this. When we see this, is this. For me, uh, I'm a singer of God from, from when I was young. So it had been a long time I just uh, get tired. I said, God, how come I have, have saved you since I was young? And I came in this age, I, I, I marry a wife and then I, I honor you in the church. A nice marriage. I call people because... That day of my marriage, I promised my mother that uh, because she was crying, she, she had nine, nine children. And all of them, by God's grace, they studied and then they, all, they went overseas. And she was just alone. She was crying. One day, when before dying, she wanted to, to sit with her children, all of them. One day before she died. Then I promised, I said, don't worry. Me, I'll make that things happen. To see that your children, the way you born them. Can you clap for Master Jesus? Yes. My brother, um, you came here for the first time and you never know who Prophet Issachar is. And he gave you a prophecy 
having gone to places, churches, and every other place, hospitals you've been to, when he told you that you are going to have a baby boy, how did you feel? Because you don't know him. You don't know if he's called by God or not. You've not, been, you've not met him before. You've not heard about him. And he just told you, don't worry, my brother. By this time next year, you are going to have a baby boy. He's supposed to be twins, but God wants to start with one. How did you feel, my brother? Honestly, uh, you know, we have, we have gone to, to a lot of churches. We have seen a lot of pastors. According to, to us, we judge them. This is a big, this is a what, what, what. But when the prophet tell us that, so when we were on the way going, look at stuff, we were just now asking ourselves, said, ah, you remember we went to that church? Remember that uh, pastor said this? But you see, now there is one uh, guy who just said, no, no. You know, things can happen. Eh? Why does uh, God can just talk to you? How that prophet knows that you didn't know, uh, you don't have children? Said, okay, let's, let's uh, see. But what prophet told me was, when you reach at your place, just have a time of prayer with uh, your wife. Just lay down, uh, pray with your wife. Then I also did it because he told me, let me just try. I try. I came. I told him. They said, one, two, three. I met one uh, prophet there where we went, and he was. She was happy. But we were not sure that no, really, these things can happen the way he he said it. Because the way he was saying it, you won't even believe that this is a prophet. Because if uh, people knows that uh, prophet. When he talks, he can talk like he's your friend. You have been uh, together for long. Because me, I'm, I met him just for three days. Since I have, I'm in this country for 17 years. But I met that guy in three days. And that three days, it was enough. Can you clap for Master Jesus? Amen and amen. My brother, as I said earlier, if we allow you, we're going to have this service the Friday next week. So let me speak to Mama, please. Let me speak to Mama. Mama, good morning. I can see smiles beaming all over your face. Your husband has said it all. I know you've been to places. I know you've been called names. I know your husband have gotten a lot of advice. I know a lot of, you have passed a lot of things for the past seven good years. But three days of encounter with the servant of God changed the story of your family. Just tell us how happy you are. Good morning, church. I'm so happy today because I'm carrying my testimony. Um, Mama, what's the name of your baby boy? Is it evidence? Evidence, indeed, is an evidence that God lives. It's an evidence that we serve the God of now. Amen and amen. Mama, please, there are women all over the world who have been going even to Sangoma, who went to mountain to bat naked and do all manner of things. Yet, they are still suffering, they are still crying, asking God to visit them with a baby boy, a baby girl. Just, Father, visit us with a child. We've been looking for fruit of whim for 10 years, 20 years, 15 years. What is a word of advice for those people who were previously in the category you were, but today you are out of it? Give them word of advice and word of encouragement so that they will testify as you are doing like now. My advice to them is you must always trust in God. God time is the best. Amen and amen. Can we clap for Master Jesus, children of God? God's time is the best. Indeed, God's time is the best. 
My brother, we thank you so much for this wonderful testimony. Please, we have seen a lot of faith in you. There are a lot of things we need to tap from you. There are a lot of lessons we need to learn from you. My brother, you passed through tops and toffee. You passed through ups and downs. What is your word of advice to people who have been crying for the fruit of the womb? Let us all tap into your testimony and glorify God like you are doing now. You know, people of God, you know in life sometimes, as a Christian, we need to meet the right people in our way to get what God has already promised for us. You know, if I was not a driver to those people, I couldn't come to the church. And if God did it arrange for people from TV Joshua to come in South Africa, I was not supposed to have this child. And if God didn't, because that prophet, to, to talk to him, to show him like this, there's a lot of people that are crying. But me, I saw that prophet easily. I sit with him easily. I even share with him food easily. But I didn't know in that moment is the man of God in this highest. But it's only God who can do it. Trust God. God Almighty, there is a person somewhere there. Because guys, I've cried. I came in the moment of I want to abandon this lady. But in, in the end of me doing that, God pushed me in this place and meet me that man. Please. Let us clap for Master Jesus, children of God. If you are happy with this wonderful testimony, can you make some noise? Amen and amen. Once again, I see God in this place. God is here and we serve the God of now. We serve the God of impossibilities. Shekinah is a spiritual hospital. Shekinah is the presence of God. My brother, we thank you so much for sharing this wonderful testimony of how God visited you after seven years of hardship, after seven years of torment, after seven years of pain, God has glorified his name. He has manifested his power in your family. And we pray today, the saints here present listening to you and viewers all over the world. We thank you so much and we pray that more and more babies, boys, girls, they will come to your family. And by this time next year, you will come here again to testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.